Hello and welcome to Dance Around Nashville. My name is Danny Bai from Dance World. This is my lovely dance partner, Ms. Victoria. And we've been asked to teach you a little bit about salsa dancing, just the beginner basic kind of movement and maybe some technique and style to go along with that. So here we go. We're going to uh, start out with the basics and, and, and tell everybody that, remember, as a beginner, there's a period of awkwardness and lots of repetition. So it may not feel like dancing today, just get up and try to do your best. We're going to start out with the same idea as always, that in ballroom or Latin or swing or country dancing, the girl starts with the right foot because she's always right, and the guy starts with the left foot because that's all that's left. That's my, <laughs> my, my joke. Thank you very much. Okay, but enough of that. Here we go. So the girl's going to start with the right foot, and she's going to step backward as I go forward. One, two, and then we go back to where we were on three. So watch that again. She goes rock, step, close the feet. I go rock, step, close the feet. Notice when I do this, I'm not just touching. I have to go there and be able to lift my foot and then put it back down and then close my feet. Now I'm going to do my right foot backward as the guy and the girl's going to go forward left. Five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to go quick, quick, and then we pause, quick, quick and then we pause. This dance has six weight changes in eight beats of music. So the quick, quick, slow, quick, one beat of music, slow, two beats of music, we're gonna go quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. If we counted this, it would be one, two, three, and then we change on four, five, six, seven, eight. The tricky part, let me face you when we dance this, we're gonna dance starting backwards on the left foot, both of us. We're gonna, I'm sorry, left foot forward, my bad. We're gonna go one, two, and when I bring my foot in, I'm gonna leave the knee bent. And then on four, count number four, I'm gonna change weight. So I'm gonna use up that beat of music. So watch that again. This is one, two, close the feet, change the weight on four. Now we go backwards, five, six, again, the weight, the, the leg is still bent, then I change to the other bent knee, and then I go forward again. The thing I don't want to do is be on both feet at the same time. One, two, boom. See, now I'm on both feet, and I don't know what foot to use. So make sure that when you bring your feet together, that, see, my left heel is off the floor, now my right heel is off the floor, now I'm ready to go backwards. Quick, quick, change the weight, quick, quick, change the weight, quick, quick, change the weight. So if we count it again with the numbers, it's one, two, close three, change four. One, two, close three, change four. One, two, close and change, five, six, close and change, right? You can dance this dance in a two hand hold as we're holding now where we go forward and backward in a two-hand hold. This is quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. I need to do that with you several times, and you need to get comfortable with it, whether you have a partner or not. If you don't have a partner, we'll do this without holding on. If you're by yourself, gentlemen starting forward left foot, ladies going back on the right foot, and step, bring the feet together, right foot back, Together, now the girl goes right foot back, and together, and step, and together. Once again, dance position. We can do this in a two-hand hold. The traditional dance position, again, gentlemen, this is the waist, this will get you slapped, this goes on the lady's back. So there's a space here. If I dance with my elbows at my side, let me turn this way. See how my elbows are here? Victoria, come in front, please. So if I'm dancing this, I don't want to be like this as we do in ballroom, but I do want to be some space here and here, not here with my elbows. It's just really, really weak and you really can't communicate that well with the girl. So my hand goes on the girl's back, her hand goes on my back and there's no space or daylight. I'm lifting up, she's bearing, don't hurt me, <laughs> and she's bearing down with her left elbow. This hand goes forward. Notice how um, we push forward to create that firmness in the frame. So 
um, when, we, <clears throat> when we dance, we don't want to have tension, but we do want to have firmness or tone in the muscles. So when I'm dancing, I'm here. Now I go one, two, three, and four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a quick, quick, slow. A quick, quick, slow. A quick, quick, slow. And you saw that I turned it, didn't you? So that's the next part. Once you get comfortable with this movement, just do it over and over. I said about the repetition, over and over, forward and back. We both do the same thing. The girl starts with the back half. I start with the forward half. Again, over and over, back and forth. My knees really never stop moving, even though they're moving slow. If I showed you this <clears throat> with my feet together, it would look like this. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And quick, quick, slow. Now, salsa is very closely related to mambo. Mambo music being somewhat different. And so the mambo has a little bit more staccato action and we do our break or rock step on the two or the second beat. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if we're dancing mambo, it looks a little bit different. I like salsa. It's more social for me. Um, um, it's easier to do, I find. And people can get used to dancing it and be more rhythmical with it than the mambo, which is a little bit more exacting what we need from you. So once again, we're dancing from here. If you notice, I dance this by turning to my left as the guy, as the leader. I'm turning to my left a little bit. So if I start out, I dance one, two, three, or quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. I go back, she goes forward, I go forward, she goes back over and over and over again until we get comfortable with that idea. Salsa is one of the easier of the Latin dances. Once again, if we're dancing Latin, heels together, let's do this for the Victoria, heels together, the toes are open. The toes are open because if my heels, my toes were closed and I tried to do my, my leg action, if, it'd, be like I, it'd be like I've got to go to the bathroom. So you want to make sure that you keep your toes open, which releases the hips, right? Again, Online dancing, it's not swinging to the side. It's actually a turning action, so your shoulders stay pretty quiet. They don't do a whole lot if you want to look authentic. Also, instead of the hips being under me for more like ballroom dancing, I'm going to release this backwards so I get a little bit of a, let me see if I can do that for the camera, a little bit of a forward poise. So I don't want to feel like I'm standing up like I would uh, dancing a, a ballroom dance as opposed to dancing this Latin dance. Okay. Any questions? No? Okay, good. Um, when we dance this from our closed position, when we lead the turn, which is the next step, we go one, two, three, and I release this side. Again, the girl goes, oh, okay, something's going to happen different because he's not holding on anymore. And we lead it go four, five, six. Just a basic underarm turn. I can come out back to a two hand hold or I can go back to here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll call that five, six, seven, eight, nine. So watch, we'll do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Release on nine. She turns 10, 11, 12. Now, ladies, if you notice what Victoria is doing here, when, she, when the guy leads this, seven, eight, nine, that foot, my right foot is the lady, is going to stay right there. I go all the way around 10, 11, 12. I can close my feet or pass my feet. By the way, let me back up just a moment. What we're showing you is a closed basic. So I close my feet or close my feet. A lot of times though, once you start dancing this dance, you'll actually use what we call a progressive basic, which is where you pass your feet. One, two, and then she steps forward as I step back. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. The main thing to remember here is that regardless of where you put your feet, it's a rhythm. A lot of people get caught up in the patterns and they're important to be able to indicate what we're gonna do next and where we're gonna go. Obviously the guy is leading or supposed to be leading. <laughs> remember this is the last place, ladies, where we get to lead, so don't take that away. If we're leading, we get to decide where we turn and where we go. It's sort of like driving the car as opposed to being a passenger. 
You need to know where you're going. Of course, we're not going to ask for directions because <laughs> we're men. But we do need to know where we're going when we're dancing so we can indicate ahead of time what we want from the lady. So when I'm dancing, I want to feel that I'm dancing with movement through my body and progression through my feet. And that just takes practice. Again, it's just a, a repetitious thing. You'll get used to it after you've done it for a while. We're going to review the turn one more time. We're going to do it from this angle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Notice how I release the girl on nine so that she goes, okay, something's about to happen. Seven, eight, nine. I release my frame and I'm going to take the hand around her again. I'm not lifting the hand. I wouldn't want to go seven, eight, nine and lift the hand, even though she's tall. It's totally unnecessary. I want to give her a sense of direction, meaning to the right. If I did this to her, seven, eight, nine, and she turned in front of me, that would be different because I asked her to turn left instead of right. Ladies, you are turning to the right. Yes? Now, we're going to do it facing, did we do it? We did it this way already. Let's do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The girl turns and comes back around. One of the things about turns, ladies, regardless of what dance you're doing, um, in this case, the lady's turning to the right. So what you want to do is when you turn is look in that direction. See, I'm looking over my right shoulder. If, in fact, the girl gets caught up in the beauty of the guy and she keeps looking at me, see, she's not going to be able to finish her turn because she's so mesmerized, right? <laughs> um, so the ladies, when you do this turn, seven, eight, nine, see how she's looking in that direction? There? <laughs> to go around and help her with the turn. Yeah, because if somebody behind me called my name, I wouldn't go and turn my head last, would I? I would turn my head first. So you want to do the same thing. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There she goes and back. One, two, three. And I pick her back up. So that's your basic underarm turn. The lady's turning to the right. Let me bring you back over here. Now, if I... If I was to do the other turn, which is the inside turn or the left turn for the girl, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This time I'm going to get out on this side, her right. She's going to turn to the left, and we're going to trade sides. Remember how that works? So watch it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See, I get out on the girl's right side. <clears throat> I need to give her space so she can go through and turn to the left. So we're going to trade sides. Remember the thing about the belly button from a previous lesson, belly button, you have to face your partner wherever she goes. So seven, eight, nine, turn, turn, turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. The underarm turn, you can stay right here in front of her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn, turn, turn. Dancing all of the patterns with the idea that we're going to actually do our footwork and do our leg work and do our rhythm and timing. Again, all of this stuff might, might be 36 things involved and you can only do five or six right now, but that's okay. Keep doing it, practice, practice, practice. The period of awkwardness, if you're looking at the television right now and saying, Danny, this doesn't feel like dancing to me, that's okay, it's not supposed to. Does that make sense? Of course it does. One, two, three, four, five, six. Release the girl on nine. Turn her to the right, and a one, two, three, a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn her to the left. We have both turns here, left and right. One of the nice things about salsa is you can really be creative with it. You can really have a lot of fun with it. It's one of those dances where you can be very, very expressive and creative. And if I was turning the girl, for instance, um, this way, and I wanted to go under, and a spot turn, and a crossbody lead. There's so much fun that you can do with this. Again, for the girl, she's doing a rhythm. She's doing right foot and left foot. When I dance with someone that may not know a whole lot or may not, you know, she always gets scared if to dance with a, an instructor, I always tell her, you just do a right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot. Over and over and over, and I'll do the rest. Whether she turns or what arm we use, I mean, why, why couldn't we turn the girl using the right hand for the man? Why couldn't we turn the girl using both hands for the man? So you get all these different complicated and things that look hard, but the feet, and you know, they, they say the song remains the same. Well, the feet remain the same. Right foot, left foot. 
right foot, left foot. See a theme there, right? So just be patient. I know I keep talking about being patient and a lot of repetition and the period of awkwardness if you're a beginner. Now, if you are actually an intermediate dancer and you've danced this dance for a while, then I'd like to see much more movement through the body and through the arms. One of the things that I see a lot of with salsa dancing, which I'm not a big fan of, is this. Is the hands that are very distracting. I mean, they're being rhythmical, but, it's, but it, to me it kind of takes away from it. I don't mind a little bit of that. Obviously, if I'm dancing in a two-hand hole, then that's going to move a little bit. But I, this is, you know, you see sometimes a little bit too much of that. And again, so if you're an intermediate or advanced dancer, Keep an eye on that and make sure you're not doing too much of that because it gets really distracting. Mm -hmm. Also, it's very distracting for the girl because if the hands are moving, I'm trying to lead a turn. She's like, was that it? Was that it? Was that it? <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm being very um, judicious with this and then I lift it, she's going to feel that and she's going to feel like it's something that she can do and not be totally lost or out of place. All right. The next pattern. So we did our basic and we turned it. Again, the turn is to the left. If, you've, if you uh, do a little cha-cha-cha, it's going to be the similar thing. Rumba, most of these Latin dances for the basic idea, turn leftward. You can turn any of them rightward, though. Not a problem. So when I'm dancing the next step, we're going to do the wrap-in or the cuddle position, one of my favorites. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, and I'm using a double turn to send her out. Now, don't I know I heard all the panic all the way from the television. Don't panic yet. I'm going to show you how to do this. One of the things that the guy's going to do, he's going to dance the basic to bring the girl in. And now instead of rocking forward left foot, I'm actually going to go backward. So if you notice this from this angle, when I get to that back rock, she's going to go backward. I'm going to go with her. One, two, three, four, five, six. We both do a back rock there. And then as she comes forward, I'm going to lift my left hand. Take it around her head twice, and she's going to rock back right foot, which is right her normal step to go there. So we'll do it facing this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Turn, turn, turn. My left foot to go forward, her right foot to go backward, back to our basics. We need to do that like 37 times. One, two, three. Bring the girl in and send the girl out with double turns the whole time. My feet never stop moving in place, in place, in place. Once you've danced this dance for a while, or any dance, an advanced dancer can add steps or drop the steps. So a lot of times I will do that because I've been doing this dance for weeks now, right? So I'm pretty advanced from all that dancing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn, turn, turn. Now we're going to talk about the girls' part. If you notice what Victoria is doing, when I bring her over here and then I take this over her head, she joins me. Let me turn you this way. She joins me in a wrapper cuddle position. Notice that I'm not going to squeeze her arms and I'm not going to hold her against me as fun as it might be. I'm <laughs> going to leave her there, right? Give her a lot of space. Also, you know, she's just in front of me. Not, we're not hip to hip. So when I turn her out, I'm going to lift this hand and she's going to turn twice. And then she goes right back on that right foot. It's very important, ladies, to try to keep your count. The quick, quick, slow. We're going to use those words this time. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And back to my basic with a two-hand hole or closed position if I care to. Let's do that again. How about it? Five, six, seven, and one, two, three. Bring the girl in. Rock back. Send the girl out. Now, again, this pattern has a lot of options. When I get the girl here, I don't have to lift this hand. I can, from the back rock, I can take my right hand and just give her a free spin. As, a, as someone who dances and, and leads a lot of different partners in salsa and social dancing, I find that if I don't know the person and I'm not sure what they know or what they can follow, I use my hand because it gives me a little more control. And if, I, if it's someone I know, like if I'm dancing with Victoria, a lot of times I can bring the girl in, I can turn this, and I can spin her with the hand and pick her up here because I know she's going to do her, her part without that extra help. Again, that's just a little bit more intermediate and advanced. Most of our lessons are designed for the beginners, but we also have an idea that if you are an intermediate and advanced, we give you a little bit as well. Yes? Okay. Um, 
So let's review everything that we've talked about. We did our basic pattern, man left foot forward, now his right foot back, and there's a pause, and a slow, and a quick, quick, and a slow, and a quick, quick, and a slow, and a quick, quick, and a slow. A lot of people have struggled with that when they first start out. They won't pause on the slow. They just kind of dance right through it. And now you're earlier premature on your steps, and really you don't want to do that because now you're off time with the music and it throws your partner off, right? Because as, as partner dancing, we want to be synchronized, we want to be together. So one more time, it's quick, quick, wait, move. Now wait, move, and wait, move, and wait. Underarm turn, the girl turns to the right. A one, two, three, four, five, six. This one I have to get out of the way and let her go through. A one, two, three, a four, five, six. A one, two, three, I bring the girl in, four, five, six, spin the girl out, and back to my basic step. And a cross body lead, which will be later on in salsa part two. This is salsa part one. One of the things about salsa music is it's very, very fast most of the time. So you want to find a song, if you're going to use music, find your song that's a little bit slower give you a little bit of a chance to actually feel like you can keep up with the music. And even if then, if you still can't keep up with the music, don't be afraid to turn the music off and just dance it without. Remember, gentlemen, this hand goes on the girl's shoulder blade on her back. She will not be tempted to slap you if you do that. So that was our basic beginner salsa lesson. We hope you enjoyed it. We've invited some dancers here tonight to actually demonstrate some salsa. We hope you enjoy their dancing. Yo te prometo no emborracharme, ni deprimirme, ni suicidarme. Yo te prometo no estar pendiente, a ver si amas o si apareces. Yo te prometo voy a ser fuerte para poder soportar vivir sin verte.
paso deseándole otra noche más entre mis sábanas buscándote es que no hay como acostumbrarme a la idea de que ya no estés aquí es como un nudo en la garganta que no me deja Se me muere 